Tomorrow night, superstar. Okay, when they perform their new hit song, Mary Welcome back to Movie Flicks. Today, we are going to recap 2020 romantic comedy movie titled Marry Me. Pop superstar Cat is about to get married before an audience of her loyal fans. However, seconds before the ceremony, she learns about her fiance's cheating ways and has meltdown on stage. In a moment of inspired insanity, Cat locks eyes with a total stranger in the crowd and marries him on the spot. As forces conspire to separate the unlikely new wits, they must soon decide if two people from such different worlds can find true love together. But before we begin, please consider subscribing to our channel. Now without wasting any further time, let's begin, shall we? The story begins with the media coverage of Cat Wilders, a music phenomenon. She is presently on a tour to support her new single Marry Me which she co-write with her fiancé, worldwide singer Bastin. They plan to exchange vows in front of millions of fans at an upcoming concert. Kat is frequently accompanied by her manager, Colin, her assistant Tyra and her secondary assistant Melissa. Kat is looking forward to the show but is concerned about the estimate 20 plus million viewers. We meet Charlie a mad teacher who is also a recently divorced single parent. He tries to show Lou that he's a cool guy by spending time with her but she wants to prevent him forcing her to join his math club. Parker, a co-worker, is Charlie's best friend. He tries to connect with Lou but she is clearly uninterested. Parker invites Charlie and Lou to accompany her to the performance because her girlfriend abandoned her at the last minute. Charlie agrees, grudgingly. They watch Cat perform her song, Church, with gorgeous run dancers. The show concludes with her and Bastin singing Marry Me and then getting married. Bastin approaches Cat and wishes her luck before the big moment, but Cat finds her team glancing uncomfortably at their photos. Before taking the stage, she wants to see Colin's phone where she discovers a TMJ video of Bastin and Tyra kissing in a hotel room. Cat, who is heartbroken, is dragged up to the stage and is forced to address all of the people in attendance as well as those watching at home. She basically tells them that she is no longer marrying Bastin as a result of realization that she needs to do something else. She glances into the audience and notices Charlie waving a marry me sign so she has Charlie go to the stage to marry him on the spur of the moment. The entire audience is startled but Charlie chooses to go forward with it anyhow. Encouraged by Parker, Lou and the other followers, the ceremony is completed and Kat and Charlie are married. Tyra tries to explain herself after the show but Kat pushes her away. Bastin also tries to tell his side of the tale, but Cat refuses to listen. She takes Charlie home and drops him off. The news of Cat's unexpected decision begins to spread, leaving many people perplexed and others hoping Bastin was still with her. Bastin tries to communicate to Kate, but she refuses to listen. Colin offers advice on how to handle Charlie, but Cat believes she will remain married to him until they straighten things up and the frenzy surrounding the concert meltdown subsides. Colin pays a visit to Charlie who is with Parker to guide him through his things, even offering him money to get him to go along with it. But all he wants is to things to be fine with Lou. Colin summons that to go to the set of the Today Show for a press conference in which Cat and Charlie address reporters about what to do and say about the issue. They answer the appropriate questions and charm themselves to the press by stating that they are completely dedicated to his new relationship. Charlie joins Kate on the first real date which takes place at a bowling alley. He enjoys her company but is uneasy with Melissa and Cat's personal videographer. Kofi following and filming their every move. They form a bond and discuss their previously unsuccessful relationships. Charlie has to cope with overjealous paparazzi as they spend more time together but he has Parker to help him get rid of them. 
Bastian, despite still flirting with other women, continues to strive to get Kat back. Kat subsequently travels to Paris for a show, but she calls Charlie and expresses how much she enjoys hearing from him, and he appears to feel the same. Kat surprises Charlie and the kids at school while they are preparing for a marathon tournament, and it is here that Kat meets Lou for the first time. The other students point out that Lou caused them a victory the previous year since she was nervous on stage and could not answer her question. Kat shows the students a video of herself forgetting the lyrics to her performance at the VMAs, demonstrating that everyone has moments like that. She assists the pupils in the preparation for the tournament by answering arithmetic questions and doing dancing moves. Kat subsequently visits Charlie's apartment and presents Lou with a luxury bag. Kat and Charlie then discuss the possibility of her rekindling her relationship with Bastin and how it would be a case of repeating old mistakes. He extends an invitation to the spring semi-formal dance which she accepts. Charlie arranges for Parker to collect phones at the dance so Kat is not disturbed by the youngsters and staff who are admirers of her. During the dance, Kat walks on stage to perform an old song of hers after love, and she asks Jonathan, the music teacher, to play an instrument so she can sing along. Charlie declares it is his new favorite song. After the dance, he returns to Kat's apartment and plays his old favorite song, Camelot, If I Would Ever Leave You. Kat expresses her enjoyment to the music, and then she and Charlie share their first true kiss before having intercourse. Kat and Charlie begin dating more and spend their time doing things like breaking into a mansion and playing around inside, then heading the island to ride the Wonder Wheel. Bastin surprises everyone by showing up at the school after they are practicing for a methylene. He goes on to tell Kat that her song Marry Me has been nominated for a Grammy and that she is being invited to sing the song with him at his concert at Madison Square Garden to help her win. Best End offers they perform the slow, bold version of the song they would have performed after the ceremony. Kat wants to participate in the concert, but Charlie is hesitant because he is afraid she may return to Bastin. In any case, he agrees to back her up. The show continues at MSG with millions of fans watching the Marry Me performance while Charlie stays at home with Lou and Parker until Lou convinces him to go. Charlie attends the after party, but when he meets Kat, he tells her that he does not think he can continue the relationship since he does not feel like he belongs in this world. After some time apart, Kat releases a new song called On My Way, which many fans believe is about Bastin. Charlie travels to Peoria with Lou and the other students for the Mathalan. Kat and Bastin appear on Jimmy Fallon's show to promote the song and prepare for a love duet, but Kat has an Gut and informed Jimmy that On My Way was not written for Bastin. She bids Bastin farewell for the last time before heading to the airport to catch a trip to Peria. Despite the fact that the flight is sold out, Colin informs her that she has a last ticket for her. Kat arrives on the day of the event and meets with Parker to assist her in getting there on time. They hire a bus driver to take her there and she arrives just as Lou is about to answer the final question. The other students make fun of her on stage, anxiety, but Charlie tries to cheer her up by dancing. Although Lou answers the question properly, she exceeds her time limit and the other team wins. Lou believes she has caused them another victory, but Charlie tells her that everything is alright. Kat arrives to offer Lou some words of encouragement before telling Charlie how she truly feels about him. She holds up a place that reads, Marry me again. The two confess their feelings for one another and kiss in front of everyone. After Kate and Charlie reconcile, they are shown continuing to teach his students how to learn through dancing.
Before the credits roll, we watch footage of many couples discussing how they met, including Colin and a Fally employee named Annika, Melissa and a Mathalon coach named Manny, and Cat and Charlie who met at a performance. I hope you enjoyed it as always. Until next time.